My name is Steven, and in this video I'll be teaching you about controllers. This is the second video in my series called Introduction to Codeigniter. Yeah, let's jump right in. What I did in the first video was I downloaded and installed Codeigniter to not here, to here, to the www folder in my WAMP uh, installation on my local machine. I named it CI underscore intro, and then I launched it, and you can see here that my Codeigniter app has been, or Codeigniter has been successfully uh, installed on my machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up that folder in my text editor. Go into C drive. Scroll down to WAMP, WAMP, www, ci underscore intro, and here we go. We have some new folders in the application folder that you've probably never seen before. Some key ones are config. We'll be working a lot in config. Controllers, models, and views. Um, but because this video is about controllers, we will work with this controller. Let's open up welcome.php. And this is a controller. Um, the first thing you'll notice is we have opening up PHP tags. And then we are ex creating a new class and extending CI underscore controller. This is really important because controllers in Codeigniter are essentially just a class, and the classes that we make will be will just be extending them. In this case, the class or this controller is named Welcome, um, and it has in it is a uh, an index function, a public function index, and within that, it's loading a view called Welcome Message. This right here, this if not defined base path exit no script no direct script access allowed. It's just a security measure um, done by Codeigniter. comes with the package and I recommend that we include this on the top of all of our controllers. So um, let's actually go ahead and create a new controller and I'll show you a bit about how these things work. We're going to call this um, controller site .php and then we're actually going to as you'll notice, this welcome controller is being auto-loaded, or um, it is the default controller for this Codeigniter application. So even though you don't see welcome or anything like that, um, that controller is what's being loaded. It's, it's loading that welcome underscore Codeigniter view, which we can see right here. Um, what we what we want to do is change that. We want we want to auto-load or change the default controller. To something else to site.php which we just created so what we'll do is we'll go into config scroll down to routes open that up and you can see here route um, default controller is equal to welcome we want to change that to site notice the not capitalization here also for later on in the series um, you might be interested in where we can do a 404 override if you have a your own 404 page that you want to load you can actually load a controller here for that. Oh, but that's a side note. Uh, okay, so let's open up site.php, this folder, this this new controller that we've made. We're going to copy over just this information because it sucks writing it. And then rename this to site. Notice the capitalization here. Um, that's just standard class naming. And it carries over in Coding Editor as well. Then the second thing we're going to do is make a new function, uh, an, an index actually, new function index, parentheses, curly braces. Okay, how controllers work is there is a, there will be a function, there should always be a function index, and what, I, what the index function is, is it'll be the first function that's run uh, when, the, when the controller is called. In this case, we just want to put something here that's going to let us know that this that this controller has actually been called successfully. So we'll say hi internet. Semicolon. And we also need to save routes.php. And now because we've changed the default controller, if we reload our Codeigniter code application, you'll notice that it is now calling the site controller and that public uh, function index, the index function is being called now. Uh, okay, we can exit out of this. And why don't we make a couple other functions? There are other kinds of functions inside of a controller. 
and there, there can be tons of different actually you're going to write a lot of different kinds of functions inside of one controller um, what we'll do is we'll make one called um, hello and then this one we're going to echo out something else Now you'll notice that this function is not called by default. Um, if we reload this, nothing happens because the default controller is only loading, because the site controller is only loading index. If we want to load the hello, um, the hello function, what we'll need to do is we can actually dictate in the URL um, to load that. I'll show you how to do that. index.php slash the controller, which is site and the function which is called hello and there we have it something else is being loaded now now you'll notice this index.php um, in the URL it's actually kind of annoying like you'll notice uh, ci underscore intro that's our folder name we have this index.php why is this why is that in there because we have index ci intro the project name the class or the controller and the function wouldn't it be nice if this was gone? That is foreshadowing for an upcoming tutorial, which I will be uh, teaching. I believe that's like the fourth tutorial. So look that up if you're interested in getting rid of uh, index.php. Continuing on, you can, um, if you don't want to dictate in the URL every time, for example, in page linking, you can actually load other controllers from within other controllers. Um, in this case, we're going to put a space here to make it look better and then we're going to load the hello controller from within the index or the hello function from within the index function and the way we do this is we go this load no sorry this hello because the controller has already been loaded include the parentheses there um, and save it now if we reload this reload the code editor app from scratch hi internet something else you'll see that both uh, functions in this controller are being loaded and that is a success um, yeah I think that is it for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial we'll be talking about models um, so stay tuned for that